Artipithecus, a 4.4 million year old woodland biped with small, blunt canine teeth, hints that much of our unique sexual anatomy and physiology, even our families and the way we walk, may all be fundamentally linked and far more ancient than we ever imagined. The fossil evidence now suggests that the things that make humans so different from all other mammals are not recent, but can be traced all the way back to Artipithecus. Ongoing discoveries in Africa are now bringing us even closer to the roots we share with the rest of the natural world. But this journey into our past is far from over. Now, discoveries of fossils even older than the ones at Aramis have been made in the badlands nearby. We humans have literally changed the face of our planet. So much so that often it's hard to imagine that we're part of the natural world. But the ancient fossils discovered in Ethiopia have taken us beyond imagination to knowledge based on hard evidence. We found the first hominid older than four million years, definitely hominids. And that turned out to be a new genus and species, Ardipithecus romulus. That discovery, Ardipithecus ramidus, has opened a new window on the origins of our unique human biology and where and why this biology evolved in the first place. But are there even older hominid fossils out there waiting to be found? Surely there's no better place to look than here in Ethiopia. But the really unique thing about our study area of the Middle Awash here in Ethiopia is it's given us a much longer sequence of human evolution in the form of snapshots at different time planes. So not just one fossil now, but a series of hominid fossils, like a time-lapse film chronicling how the human lineage changed across deep time. Even while the Middle Awash team was extracting Artipithecus from the sediments at Aramis, project scientists were busy elsewhere in the study area, probing more deeply in time in search of Artie's ancestors. Paleoanthropologist Johannes Haile Selassie and geologist Gede Wolde Gabriel were searching an area to the west of Aramis. Here, the sediments are more than a million years older. After years of searching, the Ethiopians made a new and significant find. Fossils that would be dated at 5.7 million years old, among the oldest hominids ever found. Here, in the searing heart of Ethiopia's Afar Depression, the scientists have found hominid teeth and bone fragments more than a million years older than the Ardi skeleton. They named these new fossils Artipithecus Kadaba. In the local Afar language, Kadaba means ancient father. This find, along with others from Chad and Kenya, are still very fragmentary. So far, there's no skeleton for this early time period, but the search goes on. So with these discoveries, we're pushing our evolutionary history back to about six to seven million years ago, and we're not done yet. We still, we think we're getting closer to the common ancestor between chimpanzees, who are our closest relatives, and ourselves. With a new generation of African scientists at the forefront of this research, this vast continent will continue to produce new and important fossil discoveries.
I'm very, very proud of the Middle Awash project that discovered a lot of fossils. It has trained a lot of Ethiopian and American professionals and still uh, training more young generation from both the U.S. and Ethiopia. Being a paleoanthropologist is all about being able to find the fossils, analyze them, prepare them, clean them, analyze them, study them, and share the knowledge that you get out of these fossils with the rest of the scientific community and the public, the general public. For years to come, scientists from around the world will sift through fossil evidence gathered during the decades of research by the Middle Awash team and other groups as well. But why are these discoveries important today? Virtually every culture on Earth has its own origins myth. And in fact, these origin myths are people's stories about how the world was formed and how they got on the world. But now we can move beyond myth. We can move beyond fairy tale. We can move, guided by evidence, to what really happened in our past. A century and a half ago, Darwin's critics pointed to the huge differences between living apes and humans as evidence of a fatal flaw in his theory that humans evolved. Cartoonists at the time satirized Darwin as a deluded, half-chimp, half-human creature. More than a century later, a real creature recovered from a small hill in Ethiopia has brought the hard evidence Darwin lacked. Artipithecus has finally removed the barrier once thought to separate us from the rest of the living world. And in this valley, we have found our roots. We've been able to trace those roots for six million years into the past and to put together a record of human evolution that is not only comprehensive, it's also very clear and is very compelling. We evolved. Evolution has produced a tree filled with branches, not a chain of links. Today, Homo sapiens is just one twig on life's vast and spreading tree. Even though Artipithecus lived far back along our branch of the family tree, it already had important traits found today only in our species. Artipithecus shows that we did not evolve from chimpanzees, and it also reveals that we were not created apart from the rest of life on Earth. We humans evolved as part of the natural world, just like all other animals. Today, our technology is driving thousands of plant and animal species to extinction and changing the climates of our planet. Now, 4.4 million years after Artie walked the Earth, we humans are facing our greatest challenge. To help return to balance the world that we have changed.